Hello, how is everyone? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm always excellent. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, how are you? Fine. Very nice. <laughs> what did you do today? Uh, the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I have in the work um, um, also. The work also. Yes. Um, eh, no sé cómo se dice, todavía no he entrado de lleno a mis ah. funciones. Ok. Not, not completely. No completed, eh, yes. No completed is, is the, uh, the moms is the trading. Um, hasta uh, so very, very small. Okay, Oli. Hmm. <laughs> and why not completely working, Oli? Why why aren't you completely working? Uh, I, I, um, the manager sales the government. You are with the government? Yes. Especialty uh, the government sales. The government what Ellie? Government sales. Especialist in venta de gobierno. Ah. Yes. Government sales. 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 No. Me falta. Sales. Sales. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Government sales. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yes. 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 Interesting. Yes. Okay. Helio, how are you? It's okay, Elio. You try little by little. It's okay. You, Roxana, how are you? Um, great teacher. Why, Roxana? Um, uh, because I, I am, uh, I am better about the flu. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a, a little, a little bit um, headache, oh, but, okay. but I, I took a, a, a pill. Ah, okay. And do you feel better? Yes. Yeah. Little bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Well, I'm glad everyone is here. Thank you so much for coming and being here on time. Yeah, we are going to begin today, unit two. But before we begin, are there any questions about yesterday's reading? Any questions, our vocabulary or pronunciation from yesterday? And the pronunciation is, is very difficult. Um, and the conversa conversation? Conversation? Uh, the practice so much. Practice. I need so practice. Yes. Practice. Yes, practice. practice. Okay, with C, with C, practice. Okay. Good. So this is what we're going to do. In this moment, we are going to help a little bit and we're going to try a little bit of practice. We are going to read the conversation from yesterday to make sure that it's clear and that we practice the words, we practice the things, okay? Okay. If you didn't come yesterday or you don't know, this is from 1.12 in the platform, 1.12. So 
So let's listen and read together. Make sure that we understand. 1.12. App as the word of the year. App is short for application. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, open skills and identify context. In this class, we'll read an article about the amazing world of apps, short for applications. You'll take notes of new words and pronunciation of difficult words. I'll read the article for you, but the goal is that you'll also read it making sure you're pronouncing the words correctly. After reading the article, your task is to complete the short quiz related to the article. So let's get started. I'll start by reading the article. Okay, so let's listen, and then we're going to practice after every paragraph. So listen, and then we practice. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Okay, now let's try together, okay? I'm going to read it and we repeat. In 2010, in 2010, the American Dialect Society, the American Dialect Society chose app, chose app as the word of the year. As the, as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program. It's a program for an electronic device. For an electronic device. Like a smartphone. Like a smartphone. Or a tablet computer. Or a tablet computer. There are more than. There are more, there are more than, than, than 425,000. 425,000. One more time. 400. 425,000. 425, 425, Apps. Apps, apps, apps that can be downloaded. Think that, that can, can be downloaded, downloaded. For, entertainment. For, for entertainment. For entertainment. Shopping. 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 Sports. 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 Scores. 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 And anything else. And, and anything, anything else. Else. You, else. Is. You might be. You might, you might, might be, be interested in. Interested in. Okay. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere. Communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. Okay. Apps are so popular. Apps are, are so, so popular because they can be because, because they, they can, can, be can be used almost anywhere. Used, used almost, almost, almost anywhere. 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 Commuting on a bus. Commuting, Commuting on a bus. On a bus. And the bus. Waiting in a doctor's office. Waiting, Waiting in a doctor's, in a doctor's, in a doctor's office. 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 Or hanging out, or hanging hanging out, out at the mall. At, at the, the mall. mall. 
and all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. And all you need, and all you need, 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 you need, you need is your smartphone. Is your smartphone. smartphone. You don't need to log. You don't, you don't need, need to, to log, log into your computer. Into your computer, computer or into a website. Or, or into, or into, into a, website. a website. You don't have to. You don't, you don't, don't, have, have, don't to have to set up your video game. Set up your video, 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 video game console. 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 You don't need, sorry, you don't even need. You, you don't, don't even need. need a Wi-Fi connection. Connection. Good. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. Okay. Most smartphones, most smartphones, smartphones can hold, can hold, hold hundreds of apps. Hundreds of all the apps. apps. And you can use more. And you, you can, can use, use, more, use more, more than one app at a time. Than one app at a time. time. In the time. At a time. At a time. Mm -hmm. For instance. For, for instance, instance. You can use. You, you can, can use, use. A navigation app. A navigation, a navigation app. app. To find a restaurant. To find, to find a, a restaurant. restaurant. A dining app. A, a dining, dining app. app. To look at the restaurant's menu. To look, to look at, at the, the restaurant's, restaurant's menu. 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 And a weather forecast app. And, and the weather, weather, weather forecast app. 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 To decide. To decide what to wear to the restaurant. What to wear to the restaurant. To restaurant. All at the same time. All at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. Okay. One of the most popular apps one of the one most, most popular, apps, popular apps. apps, Angry Birds, uh, Angry Birds, Birds has been downloaded, has has been been downloaded, downloaded by more than 50 million, by, by more than 50 million, million, million people. people. In 2010, in 2010, 2010, in 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 Yes, it's easy, very 2010. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. This app was played 
This up is a blade. Two hundred million. Two hundred million. million minutes daily. Minutes, minutes daily. daily. By app users. By, By app, app users. App users. Or one point two billion hours. Or, or one point two billion hours. A year. A year. A year. A year. The Apple Store. The Apple yeah. Store. Apple Store. Began selling apps. Began selling apps. In 2008. In 2008. In 2008. In 2008. With nearly 1 billion sold. With, with nearly one million, million, million sold in 2010, in 2010, nearly three billion apps, nearly three billion apps, apps were sold, were sold at an average price, at an average, average price, price of two dollars and thirteen cents. Not only are apps popular, not only are apps, apps popular, popular, but they're also profitable. They're also, they're they're also, also profitable. profitable. Okay, good. Now we have the reading. Remember, you need to complete in the platform the knowledge check, okay, here. So, number one, according to the article, what are some common uses of apps? Find a new restaurant. Find a new okay. restaurant. Find a new restaurant. Look at restaurant. The restaurant menu. Restaurant and menu. Check, the check the weather. Check the weather. Okay, good. Number two, at the time in which the article was written, what was true about the app Angry Birds? The first one. It had been downloaded by more than 50 million people. Yes. Okay. And number three, according to the article, why are apps so popular? The first one, apps are popular because they can be used almost everywhere, anywhere. <laughs> Excellent. All of those answers are the correct answers. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. No. 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 Okay. Perfect. No, teacher. Now that we reviewed unit one, the, the reading, we continue with unit two. Today we're going to begin unit two. Here. Okay. Let's take a look. We're going to learn about the best jobs, okay? For you, what is the best job for you? Best job, I mean. Hi, Edwin, for you, what is the best job? For me? Yes. <laughs> best job, I mean, you mean work? Yes, yeah. the best job, the best work. Um. Uh, I think all the chat is, is different, no? Construction, right? Mm -hmm. um, driver, um, mechanic. Uh, the best, I, the best mm -hmm. I think is, is uh, construction. Construction? Yeah, because you can make house. A uh -huh. building, you know? okay. yeah. For me, it's the best. Excellent, Edwin. Okay. Roxana, for you, what is the best job? Uh, the best job for me is 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 um, the 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 job that you enjoy uh, when you do, <laughs> because okay. I there are some jobs that you do but you don't enjoy 
Okay. Very good, Roxana. So now we are going to use these ideas to learn about the perfect thoughts with your personality, right? So with the personalities, we're going to watch a video about the different personalities and the professions. So look and write, look and take notes from the video. What are the personalities? What are the jobs for those personalities? Okay. So let's see, Leticia, what are we going to write? Hi, teacher. What, Repeat, please. Yes. What are we going to write? In uh, lecture number two. Okay. But what information do we have to write, Elena? Sorry, my mouse is part of the microphone. <laughs> Uh, uh, is we write about the jobs but relational relation with the personality correct so we listen and we write the job and the personality relates with the job okay okay it's okay yes teacher Okay, let's try. Welcome to Matheson College. I'm Jamie Fish. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay, so how many personality types are there? There are six basic personality types. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type. What was that personality type? Artistic. 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 Excellent. And what jobs are for artistic? Landscaping, graphic design, art, graphic design, web design. Good. The pronunciation is landscaping. 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 Graphic design. Graphic designer. Mm -hmm. Web design. And web designer. Very good. Let's listen to personality two. It is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. Hmm. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. What is the second career? Conventional. 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 conventional types. And what kind of jobs do the conventional types have? Uh, lawyer, banking, banking, lawyer. Lawyer, 
Banking. Banking. Trading. Love. Yes, the love. Okay, let's listen to the next one. Good business people? Sure, they can be. They usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so they often have their own sales. Really? What type was that? Enterprise. Enterprise. Yes. The enterprise person. And what kind of jobs do they have? You need jobs that uh, could be a leader in this job. Okay, could be a leader. What else? What other jobs? Uh, sales. Oh my so, they also work in sales. Mm -hmm. Or they have their businesses. Also, they have their own business. Hmm. What careers do they enjoy aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people. So they make good managers. Management. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So, Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me. Okay, what were the two types that they mentioned? Investigative, investigative and realistic. realistic. Yeah, excellent. Investigative and realistic. And what kind of jobs do they have? Investigative is a science, library science, and all of the research. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's listen to the last one. Best. Realistic. I think you're right. <laughs> The last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. So what was the last one that Jamie mentioned? Social. 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 Yeah. And what does the social type do? Help to others. Uh, um, they like they to, to work with, with, work with other people. Work with other people. Um, the careers, yeah, teachers, teaching, doctors, coaching. coaching. Medicine. Okay. okay, perfect. So we see that it's not only the job, right? It's also the type of personality. So let's take a moment and take a look here. We have many different jobs, right? We have many different types of personalities. So the first thing we're going to do is with our partner, imagine you could have any job in the world, any job. What job would you have and why? So the question is, what job would you have and why? As an example, if I could have any job in the world, I would like to be a farmer. I like to work with farm. I like to grow plants. I like to work in the garden because I'm a natural type. I like to work 
with my hands and see that things grow. I think I would like to be out of the city by myself with no noise, but in no cars. And that's what you're going to do with your partner. Explain okay. what job for you and explain the reasons for that job. Okay. Elio? Elio, puedes hablar? No. Okay, I checked because then that way we make the smaller groups to be sure. Okay. So then let me make the groups a little bit smaller. So we can check just in case. Okay, let's make our groups. Elio? Okay.
Welcome to this class. In this class, what we want to do is we want to practice gerund phrases. As we're going to learn how gerunds are used as subjects and also how they're used as objects. And um, you might have seen and you might be a little bit confused about this whole deal here. So, for example, whenever you see, uh, like at hotels, you see no smoking, uh, no parking, all that. You might think that that is wrong, but actually it's not. And then we're going to try to make sense of all of that here. Um, and then, so let me give you an example on how this is used. So we're going to talk a little bit about politics uh, a little bit. Uh, not going into details, of course, but just some general things about it. Uh, so running for office. Well, look at a couple of sentences here and then uh, just uh, see some common things that politicians say whenever they're running for office. Well, and the, the first thing is voting is an important responsibility. Um, improving our schools, fighting for a new hospital, etc. So let me quickly outline that this is a gerund. So a gerund is simply a verb which uh, you um, add ing to, right? And then, uh, of course, there's some spelling things about it that you might have learned in previous classes. But here are some examples on how gerunds are, are used either as subjects of sentences. So for example, voting is an important responsibility. Voting is the subject of our sentence. So it's not acting as a verb. Let's discuss improving our school. So as you can see there, we're using that as an object. And so let's try to make sense of all of this. A couple of more examples. Choosing a candidate takes time. And um, let me point out um, the gerunds here. So choosing a candidate, that's, that's the subject of our sentence. I enjoy working for the people. Okay, that's uh, working. In that case, it's not acting as a verb. It's acting as the object of our sentence. Uh, do you resent paying higher taxes? Again, paying is not the verb. It's, it's, it's the gerund that is being used um, as, a, as an object there. So now that I gave a few examples on how gerunds are used as subjects and how they're used as objects, I would like to go into details now and talk a little bit about the usage of gerunds. And the first thing that I'm going to mention is that uh, in this case, in this lesson, we're using gerunds as nouns. So we're using them as people, places, or things. And so we're familiar with the verb work for example. Okay, so we're going to be looking at, in a moment, gerunds and infinitives. Before we get to gerunds and infinitives, were there any words that you needed or that you didn't know in when you were speaking? Uh, could you repeat the question? Yes, were there any jobs? or words that you didn't know how to say? Um, in my case, I didn't know what you what said uh, tendencias, but I search on Google and find in strengths. <laughs> strengths. And in strengths. Wow. Oh. Strengths. Okay. Roxana, for you? No. Uh, no, I, I I don't understand the question. It's about what the, but because I I saw the video about the germs, mm -hmm. and you talk about the the job. The just first before we continue with gerunds and infinitives. Before we continue, were there any words about your job? Anything about vocabulary from your job or profession that you didn't know? Mm. Roxana, what do you want to have? Sorry, teacher, oh, but I, I uh, your sound is hard and, and don't understand ah. the education. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let me try again. Maybe here. Let me get closer. I said, eh, what job would you like to have? In my case? Yes, Roxana. Um, I would like to 
to to work as a teacher okay as an english teacher because okay. i i i like to teach other people and you like english yes and i i love it <laughs> okay it's my main dream to 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 speak in a very good way that's excellent that was the question yes. is were there any vocabulary or anything that you wanted to say that you didn't say that was the question No, everybody's no. okay? Yes. Yes? Okay. Now we're going to continue with the next topic, which is gerunds and infinitives. If we remember, gerunds are the verbs with ing. Infinitives are the verbs with to. To and the verb. Okay. So here, let's watch a small video about the gerunds, the verb with ing, and infinitives. Right, right. But now we're going to use this gerund as either a subject of a sentence or as the object of, a, of the sentence. And that's what we're going to learn. So let's take a look at the, another gerund. So for example, the verb they, I'm sorry, the verb pay, we turn that into a gerund by simply adding ing, and then we have paying improve and of course there are some spelling things that you should have learned in previous classes uh, and uh, we remove that e for example and then we add ing and so we have improving let's go into some so what is the idea of gerund really easy gerund is only the verb with ing and we use it many times in the beginning to talk about this action like a subject so as an example here, voting is an important responsibility. The subject is the voting, but also is the verb. That's why we always put with ing. It is not correct, vote. It is not correct, voted. It's only correct with ing. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so when you want to talk about a verb, is the subject is obligation to use ing. If you want to talk about different things, let me go up. Okay, that is the voting here. I want us to, okay, so here. Here with our partners, we are going to complete with Jared. Remember, what are gerunds? Verbs with ing. So what is, makes you laugh? What gives you a headache? All of these things are the ones that we're going to practice. If you don't have the platform, I'm going to take a picture and put into the WhatsApp group. So don't worry. Okay. So, as an example, what is very exciting? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me, for you, what is very exciting? No, about the, the video. No, 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 about the My, video. Uh -huh. um, dancing. <laughs> it makes me laugh when I dance. Uh -huh. Dancing it makes me laugh. Exactly. This is the thing. The action. Correct. Dancing makes me laugh. Yeah. That's what we're going to do with our partners. So with our partners, we want to complete the six sentences with ing. Okay. Okay. For this one is less time because it's only complete. We don't need a lot of time to make it. So let's try.
Okay, was that okay? It's small time. Yeah, it's only it's one short minute. time. Yes. yes. I need you day. It's only <laughs> <laughs> one day, no. It's only one word. Yes, I need you so much time. <laughs> and what uh, can so be done? Try, to try teacher. Let me try. Let's make sure that we are clear. Okay. Number one, who would like to do number one? Uh, I dream very fast. I love it. Edwin says driving. Driving, yes. Okay. And only. Okay. <laughs> so, for example, driving is very exciting, right? Driving is very yes. exciting. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Roxana said dancing, dancing. makes me laugh. Yes. Okay. And then we it have the I I need you the most the most the the, the, the dancing the, the Roxana. <laughs> ah, the example. But example the, the 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 dancing is Roxana. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> it's not possible in the meeting. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> the I uh, pay me. <laughs> okay. What about number two? What gives you a headache? What gives you a headache? Edwin says, read, reading. Good, that's good. Reading gives me a headache. For me, listening to reggaeton gives me a headache. True that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's so offensive. It's so <laughs> yeah. What about number three? What isn't polite? It's impolite. Eating with the mouth open isn't polite. <laughs> excellent, Ellen. Excellent example. Or arguing. Or arguing. Arguing. Arguing isn't polite. Good. Good. What about number four? What is popular in El Salvador? Surfing. Oh, very nice. It's true. Surfing is yeah. popular <laughs> in my country. Okay. There was a competition, surf competition. Few yes. Eating pupusas of Sunday is popular in my country. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Bicycle. Ride Ride a a bicycle. Yes. Right, a bicycle. Riding, riding, riding a okay. bicycle. <laughs> Good. What I about like... number five? What about number five? Destroy the environment on. I don't know. Uh, uh, no so, for example, number five, use it's... plastic bags destroys the environment. Using plastic bags destroys the environment. Okay. And number six. Not, not. Number six. What? No, because remember, it says not. 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 Hang on. Not pull a bunch. <laughs> Can be dangerous. So, not bunging. Bunging. Yes, at the bungee is very. Not drinking water. Not drinking. Not, not drinking. Not, it's not. It's not. It's okay. it's not not drink. drinking water. It can be dangerous. Exactly, because we are using not. Not drinking water can be dangerous. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Good. Any questions? No, it's a good exercise. <laughs> okay. Yes. Good, that's good. Now we continue with the knowledge check 2.4. With your partners, 
you are going to do one, two, three, and four. We put in the correct order. All is not create, it's only the example. Here is not in the correct order. With your partner, you write the correct order. It's not necessary more words, only the words that are there. The sentence is a scramble. Yes. Scramble. You, the sentence is, is, is scrambled. You need to unscramble. Okay, let's try it. 't no, teacher the the time is <laughs> very short yeah. very uh, short time short. yes very, uh, very short, short time <laughs> I need you some time <laughs> yes 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 the time is short because but we need... very... <laughs> I need teacher, you, you one hour so much yo cuarde. <laughs> yo cuarde. Ay, yo cuarde. Yo cuarde. no how can no. I say that in English yo mm -hmm. How do you say Jokwarde in Spanish? That, that's not Spanish. <laughs> that's... <laughs> it's, it's now what? It's now what, right? Yes. But that's, in English, that's, 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 it's a pipi. It's a pipi. It's a pipi. Yes. In English, it's similar. It's good Lord. Good Lord. Oh, good Lord. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Let's see how we did. 
Number one, very challenging taking care of children must be. I think it's taking care of children must be very challenging. Okay. It's the same for me. Okay, perfect. The second for me is working on a movie set. Sound fascinating. Oh, okay. Barbara and Roxy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds fascinating, right? Okay. Number three. Number three. Number three is making a living as an artist could be pretty difficult. As an artist could be pretty difficult, right? Yeah. Okay. And number four. Working as an architect sound interesting. Yes. Let's check. Now, what is the important part is remember that always we have with ing. We start with ing. Let's see, working as, as an architect. Ah, you see, I didn't put the computer. Yeah. C. C. There. Only that. But the answers are those, the correct. Look at how we begin. The four sentences have the same grammar. The gerund. Begin the verb, begin the sentence with a gerund. This is describing the action and then what happens. This is for lesson 2.4. Tomorrow we have class. Tomorrow we are going to look at comparatives with adjectives and nouns about professions. So tomorrow we complete unit two. We do unit 2.6 to 2.12. We do our 2.10, we complete, and then we review the other units, okay? Tomorrow not is class, yes? Yes, Oli, tomorrow is class, yes. On Friday. Tomorrow is class. Yes, yes. Friday. Yes. Only yes. this week. Uh, Only this week. week. It's quick. Yes, oh, yes. Week. Because, because start the course. Because the yes. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I see you tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Thank you, teacher. So much, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night.